Good morning. I got ready to go out with my best friend. We're gonna go do Christmas shopping, which I'm extremely excited about. The weather is 90 degrees. I don't think it's very exciting to shop on a 90 degrees uh, weather for Christmas. I'm planning on putting up our Christmas decorations next week. So today is the only day that I can go. My best friend is already here. She's waiting outside for me. Um, so we're just gonna go um, Christmas shopping a full day of Christmas and I'll take you guys along with me. The Christmas lights fill the city There are people everywhere But it is 4 p.m. right now. I just dropped her off at the nail salon. She was she's getting her nails done. She had an appointment. Um, so what we did today was we first went to the store that I always get my Christmas stuff from. It's like a boutique. And they have very, very, very beautiful, like unique pieces. That's what I love going to that store. And um, I get most of my um, Christmas tree decoration from them. And since I'm, I'm, my tree is this year bigger, I need more decoration. Um, so I bought a few um, tree decorations from there. Then we went to Home Goods. And per regular programming, Home Goods was crazy busy. And then we went and we had lunch. And 
do. Um, I just dropped her off at the nail salon for her to get her nails on while she's there. I'm just gonna quickly run to Michael's. What I want is very specific and I don't think I will find it in the store, but I'm hoping I will. So yeah, I didn't buy anything from Home Goods because honestly it was such a mess that it's very difficult to shop there. Truth be told, like I really rather go to a store that everything is so organized and like uh, it, it was a chaos like we went last week it was the same we went this week it was again crazy busy so like it was bad um so yeah i'm just gonna go to michael's now and see if i can find anything and then go pick her up it's november and the stores are packed i can only imagine how december is going to look like that's why I'm very happy that I started everything earlier than last year. Let's go get snowed in. Let's go get snowed in. How long could that be? loose powder it's like nothing I've ever tried it's so so good I'm obsessed like if your makeup comes out cakey when you use powder try this and you'll be hooked <laughs> like, my look at you rocking the sandals like who's the designer We just dropped off our Christmas yeah. shopping um, at home and now we're going to watch a movie called Last Christmas um, to get into spirit of Christmas since it's 90 degrees and nothing feels Christmassy. As I stroll on my way This came out of the uh, movie. It was the cringiest. That's an understatement. Yeah. It was the cringiest movie we ever saw. I watched a lot of cringy Christmas movies, but this one topped it all off. <laughs> like, topped it all off. The acting was uh, blah. I mean, they weren't doing anything. The storyline was, yeah, story was disaster. I don't know what, but I think since the competition is pretty high, they just wanted to <laughs> have a Christmas movie. <laughs> There was nothing good about it. Only thing that I liked about it was that it was shot in London. <laughs> like the only thing. So anyway, moral of the story, movie review. I'll give it negative five because it was horrible. And I love a lot of Christmas movies. So it had nothing to do with Christmas. That's another thing. Save your money and save your time. Literally, like it was nothing spectacular. Ani just dropped me off and she just left. Um, we had a long laugh about the movies because um, a few weeks ago when The Lion King was out um, she took me to The Lion King, she really wanted to see it and I'm not, I was not a huge fan um, but I went with her and today she was like we are even for the rest of our lives because she doesn't like Christmas movies whatsoever and this movie was extremely cringy as I said before I will show you guys everything that I got tomorrow um, that's about it for today I honestly don't remember what I filmed and what I did and it was such a busy day um, that I don't even remember <laughs> the whole day but it was a very fun. We'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's a very gray and miserable day. It's raining like there is no tomorrow. The house is pretty dark. It doesn't show on the camera, but like it's legitly dark. Um, I just woke up. Um, I got ready. I had my coffee. I did my hair. And I remember that I haven't showed you showed you guys the items that I got yesterday. I'm just gonna go over um, everything that I got. My items from Amazon haven't arrived yet, so 
that's disappointing they were supposed to be here um today but they're not so and technically last night they were supposed to be here but they're not so if they arrive today i'll show it to you guys if not then while i'm decorating the house i'll show it to you guys and um, yeah so i have items from these i have from home goods and i have items from michael's so we'll go over all of that i was so lucky that i got a christmas tree gifted um so i'll i haven't even opened it yet so on the day that i'm putting the tree tree up i will show it to you guys but technically our tree is new this year as well with the basket that goes underneath so uh, I'll show you guys those two on a day that I'm putting the tree up but I'll show you guys all the decorations that I got right now I'm gonna start the um, haul from the store that I go to AV's design if I'm saying it correctly I hope I am um, yeah it's called AV's design it's in um, Glendale area more towards Burbank um, but um, here is their business card if you guys want to take a picture of it they have their phone number and their address and everything so yeah i didn't get so many stuff from them because one they're a little bit expensive than a usual um christmas decoration um they have very unique stuff my entire tree is from their store but since i bought the majority of them last year um i only got a few pieces this year uh, but i'm thinking probably i'll need to go back because our new tree is larger than last year's tree and I don't think I have enough. I was gonna buy like fillers from uh, Home Goods and Michaels, but I didn't see anything that I like. I think I only got one ornament from Michaels. Um, that's why I think I'm gonna need to go back. So um, I'll show you guys the bubbles. Um, I, ca I got um, four styles from this store. And the first style is this cute white um bubble with pearls on them and it has like glitter lining gold glitter lining so this is the one of the styles like it's i got six of those the second style that i got is this snowflake it has like crystals and on the bottom and it has like a little um, rhinestone in the middle in this i love that it was silver and gold at the same time because that's what our tree is so this is one other ornament i got this is one of my favorite ornaments how cute and sparkle is this it's like a lace and it has like pearls and rhinestones all around it and the last style from this store are these beautiful chandeliers I don't know why am I obsessed with them they're, they're gold glittery chandeliers with crystals they're so 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 cute so yeah this is the last item that I got from them I got um, I got everything in a pack of either six or four I love ornaments from Michael but by the time I got home they all broke so I didn't even bring them in so I'm just gonna return them um, because if they didn't last a trip from maybe I even bought them broken I don't know honestly I was such a I was in such a rush that I didn't even check uh, but yeah they completely from a pack of like nine or twelve like seven of them broke so I was like I'll, I'll just return it um, I kept this one it's the huge pack of all the little ones they have um, clear gold clear silver champagne color and gold um i might use this on the wreath um because this year we're gonna have a fireplace um so yeah i was like either i'll use it on the wreath on top of the fireplace which i got the wreath too i'll show it to you guys um or i can just combine a few of them together and use it as a filler on the tree we have a lot of mini ones i rather have big ones um, but I was like, I can make, um, I can use a lot of, I saw it on Pinterest that they used a bunch of these on the read and I really liked it. So I was like, I'll just buy it and if we didn't use it, then I can return it. But I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Then from Michaels, I got ribbons for the tree. Um, again, another great thing to like 
fill the tree oh my god it smells so Christmassy because there's pine cones in here so i got four of these um the same ribbon for our tree i hope it's enough because they didn't have any more two four and i got two different kinds for the wreath that's gonna go up on the um, entryway table and for the fireplace i got two extra ones just so in case we needed it um i got pine cones um 30 packs of that and then these things i don't know what are they called um ornament hooks they're called ornament hooks i got green because our tree is green most of our ornaments come with the hook already but i was like let me just have it for these little ones that i want to hook them together so our tree comes pre-lit but i got three packs of lights because it's never enough so yeah um that's it from my goals i don't know what my plan is with the pine cones to be honest with you guys um we always have them in a tree and i usually um, paint them um, with the flocking spray so they're flocked but i don't know what am i gonna do this year because i haven't opened our um, christmas tree yet i don't know how green it is i don't know how big it is so i have no info on that yet um but i bought everything to be prepared so the day that i'm putting the tree up i don't need anything so i have everything that i need and in case if i didn't use it i can always return it so that's the thing from my goals and then now we're gonna go to items from home goods i saw this locked wreath at home goods and it was only 20 dollars if you it's i think wreaths are very expensive the ones that are decorated i mean this is not decorated to the max it only has pine cone on it but i thought this is a good price i bought it for the fireplace that we're gonna have it's like a regular wreath with pine cones on it and the length of it was perfect for the um for our fireplace this year um, so I just bought this. This was only $20, I think, but let me double check. Yep, $19.99. So I got this. I was like, either this is going to go on the entryway table or on the fireplace. We shall see. We'll know. So um, I usually make our own wreaths, like I buy the plain ones from Michael's because they're so much cheaper and with the little decoration with the pine cones and the flocking spray and these ornaments, I decorate them. Um, this doesn't have that many decorations, which I like because I can put my own colors in it. Most of the ones that come ready, they all have red in them that we don't do traditional red and green for the past two years i love them but um i rather have white and gold um but yeah i love the fact that this didn't come with any ornaments so i can put my own ornaments in it and the colors that i want and the places that i want so yeah this is the wreath i got from home goods i'm not sure about this purchase it's not my favorite and i don't think we're even even gonna do this um, but since it's our first year, we have a fireplace, which I will show you guys when it arrives. Um, I was thinking of hanging our stockings. So um, I bought this. We're a family of five. I know there's only four here. Um, I ordered one glittery one from um, Amazon that was supposed to arrive today, but it didn't arrive because I was going to put it in the middle. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of this. I don't think even we're gonna do this. If I think with the wreath and this, it would be too busy. And I don't, I personally don't like that. So we'll see when the fireplace arrives and I have the tree up and everything. Um, I'll see if I, I like it, then I will put it up. I didn't buy any ornaments or anything from Home Goods whatsoever. I didn't see anything that I really like. Um, I got cards because yes i'm that traditional i still send cards um i got wrapping stuff a lot so i got this for wrapping i'm planning on doing our um gifts this year a special color of um you guys if you know me you know i love wrapping gifts like it's a true joy of mine like designing them decorating them a couple of years ago i went all out i don't think i have a picture of it but um it was 
it took me literally seven to eight hours to wrap my gifts because it was such a diy um but i absolutely love it so this year i'm not gonna do exactly like that i'm leaning more towards this color scheme if you get the hint so yeah um this is the color scheme i'm going for this year for only the wrappings um i think it's very chic and elegant so i got this um what are these called the ribbons yeah ribbon it says decorative ribbon so i got this ribbon this one and this one about it i didn't buy that many stuff um honestly besides the boutique that i go to nowhere else i found find cute ornaments i think for now we're good until i put the tree up and if we need more i can always go buy more and um i haven't decided our tree is green this year i haven't decided if i want it flocked i personally love that flocked look because it makes it look um fuller and um i ordered my sprays um i don't like to buy flock tree because i don't have the option of going back um and i didn't buy this one i was kindly gifted um but um yeah i don't buy i don't like buying the flocked tree but i love doing it with the spray it stays on i always used to get my sprays from michael's but they were sold out so i ordered it off of amazon and we'll see um i love to put all the decorations in and then everywhere that looks empty put a pine cone with the flocked pine cone it makes it look fuller and it has that winter effect that we never get in la so i was thinking of um doing that this year but i still don't know i don't know what the ribbons flocked and ornaments hats gonna look but yeah these are everything i got go um clean this mess up that i made um i'm hosting friends giving on friday so i need to clean all of this up and put them in a storage or something until friday because i'm putting up the tree on saturday i was gonna show you guys my new astro de Mew earring but this ear has a keloid i just don't want to discuss you guys so i'll just hold it and i'll show it to you guys so this is the new earring i got from um astro de Mew. i'm not sure if i'm saying it correctly um it's so cute it's a little bit big on my ear um but because it is a um, ball back there is just a certain amount of twists that i can do it doesn't go more than that so it's a little bit big on my ear i have to find a way to make it smaller i don't know how am i gonna do it and because it's on the bone exactly it's pierced on the bone um that's why it's standing a little bit out Oh, I don't want to show you yet my keloid. It's disgusting. Put a tea tree oil on it and it goes away. And they, again, two months later, it comes back. So I guess I have to put the tea tree oil on my ears. Part of my skincare routine at this point. Now let's just go make up some coffee, get to some emails. And we'll see where the day is going. I'm hosting Friendsgiving on Friday. I, I think I told you guys a little bit earlier. So I have to go over the food menu and all of that and the decoration and what am I going to do for the table setup. I have to go to Joanne's uh, because I need a fabric um, for the table runner. So I have to go to Joanne's today. Yeah, that's about it for I now. I just showered. I haven't washed my hair. Just showered with the very warm water, which I know is not good for your skin. But it was so cold that I needed something to like warm up basically. So yeah, now I'm just getting ready to go to my friend's birthday. And I just thought I will do my makeup with you guys. And um, my mom actually just got home. Like God bless her. She's my literally hero. She went to Macy's to buy a few stuff and she saw ornaments. She bought few ornaments for me, which I will show you to you guys too. They're so adorable and cute. But let me get my makeup done first so I know I'm ready. Then I'll show you guys the ornaments. The Christmas lights fill the city. There are people you guys about um the charlotte tilbury powder i'm so impressed by it i used it the other day when i was going christmas shopping and my makeup looked flawless the entire day i have dry skin and sometimes when i put product um, and i have to bake because makeup tends to move around so when i bake it sometimes look very cakey and ever since i started using this 
it is not cakey it is a smooth it stays on it doesn't budge this is literally magic like it's amazing and the major thing that i appreciate about it is this that you can close it off and open it because the other powders when you open it and you like you pour it on the lid you have no control over it anymore it all falls when you open it it's just messy so i absolutely love that you can twist this and open it and twist it off and close it so when you open it powder doesn't get everywhere so it's the little things in life and you need the tiniest amount such a pretty powder such a pretty powder it's like airbrushed completely so i'll continue with my makeup that i'm sure you guys saw and i'm not using anything new besides this so i'll fast forward it for you guys which I'm gonna do after I chose what I'm wearing so I know what to put on um, so this is my makeup I absolutely love the colors and everything um, so now I'm just gonna go choose an outfit to wear and then apply my lipstick a few days ago I got the dose of color lips liquid lipstick in let's cuddle and I absolutely love this color every time i get my makeup done by anya she uses this on me so you know what let's just do my lip like always i do a nude lip anyway so i'm just gonna do my lips and then go figure out what am i gonna wear i just got ready and i just wanted to show you guys the items that my mom got um, from macy's this is one of the baubles she got it is so cute it's silver sparkly so this is one of them and this one is one of my favorites it's like glass but like textured glass it's so 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 cute and then the other one is this one this is pretty big so it's perfect this is so cute and last thing she got is this one which i do not like the writing on it but i like this side of it so we'll put it with this side so yeah these are the items that my mom got off of macy's um i absolutely love the colors and stuff but i will still bring out our last year decoration to put up and see which one goes with it and which one doesn't go with it i think all of them will go uh, my only concern is the silver one it might that might be too silver for our tree because mostly ours is white and gold so we'll see if it will go with the um thing go with the rest of the decorations and if obviously we don't want it we can return it so yeah now i got dressed i'll show you guys my outfit i'm still in my slippers <laughs> like yeah i'm just gonna wear shoes right now wait for my sisters to get ready too and head out to my friend's house for her birthday oh first we have to find a card for her let's go find a birthday card for her if you guys don't know i'm completely obsessed with cards like i have a whole stack of these are only girl birthday cards um so i keep stacks like everywhere every time i go out especially at tj maxx and home goods um i see cards i buy them um so i can have them on a days like this um, so yeah, I'll just go through my cards st stack and uh, find a card for her. How long could that be?
I just got ready. I'm wearing this top from Zara. This dress is very, very old from um, Forever 21. And my shoes are very, very old too. I don't even remember where they're from. Um, it's so cold that I'm gonna need to wear a jacket. Um, I'll show it to you guys. I'm so excited for wearing um, jackets and coats and all of that. I ordered the cutest um, coat from Misguided, but unfortunately it was too big on me, so I can't wear that. So I'm going to wear that fluffy jacket over there, and I'll show it to you guys. Now I'm all warm. Um, so this jacket is from last year. I honestly don't even remember where, what store is it from, but I will try to find a very similar one it's so soft obviously it's faux fur uh, and i'm taking my gucci bag because just the color goes with everything um now i'm just gonna head out with my sisters to go to my friend's birthday if i was able to vlog it for you guys i will if not um then it will be the end of this vlog in my next vlog we were gonna decorate the tree so very exciting stuff thank you so much for watching i hope you subscribe and i will see you on my next vlog the snow is falling white and pretty